Hello. Welcome to Healing Yoga. I'm going to wait a minute or two for people to jump on. I have my strap. Grounding and centering in my place here, lengthening through the spine, breathing in through the nose and out the mouth. As we sit and ground and breathe. Welcome. Welcome everybody. We are breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I know we've probably talked about this before, or maybe I thought we have, and maybe I haven't really, but the, the point of breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth helps hook up our central and governing meridians, the uh, vertical running energies here um, that start at the top of the, or the, at the palate, bottom palate, run around, come around the back and end at the very back, top of the palate of the mouth. Um, they kind of become a, like a, micro cosmic orbit or their own little world the movement of that breath it helps make our aura pop more and we have more energy to send out and more sense access to our brain etc so we'll sit here and breathe in through the nose and out the mouth breathing out the mouth helps release stress or any pent up anxiety. And if we're working on uh, yoga poses and you feel like you have to start breathing in the mouth, then you just need to slow your practice down, breathe in the nose and out the mouth. So as we continue to breathe here for another several breaths, just find that length in your spine, lifting up through the crown. Notice on each out breath, you exhale, fully release anything that may no longer be serving us, whether we're aware of it or not, consciously and intentionally. Exhale that out. Moving the head side to side. Maybe inhale to one side and exhale to the other side. Again, inhale and exhale. Notice the shoulder blades softening down as we exhale. And once again, inhale and Coming back to center, we're going to go into our alternate nostril breath next. So we take a ring finger and our thumb. So with the thumb on uh, the right nostril, gently plug that. Inhale through the left nostril. And then plug that nostril Exhale out the right nostril. And then inhale through the right nostril. Gently plug that again with the thumb and exhale out the left nostril. Then inhale left nostril. Plug 
that with the ring finger and exhale out the right nostril. Inhale, right nostril. Plug, exhale, left nostril. We'll continue that pattern for a few more rounds. Alternate nostril breath. And inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Plug, exhale, left. Inhale, left. And exhale, right. Do two more rounds. With our final round ending on the left nostril, exhaling out. Right here. Shake out the hands. Now what the alternate nostril breath also does for us is helps to naturally cross over our energies, which we're gonna work on again. <clears throat> in addition with our wake up coming up next. With the pads or the notched fingers, find your collarbones. Move down an inch, maybe out an inch toward your shoulders. Massage here. Now, if this is not accessible or if this is <clears throat> just too much for you, you can do this in the field as if you're flossing through from front to back. Pull out and then, excuse me, in. And otherwise, massage if it's a little sore, tender. You may massage it a little bit more if you don't have a deep underlying issue. But in essence, this is just getting lymph to move out of our bodies into the venous supply and out of our bodies for elimination. Shake that off. Come to your thymus right at the sternum. Tap, thump, massage. This stimulates our T cells, which really help to uh, knock down direct viruses and everything else. We have many of them in our bodies. <clears throat> Some are already pre programmed, others are called naive cells. And these we can train them, or they will pick up on their own any viruses that may be coming in to attack. So they're at the ready by stimulating here. It's a good thing. Think of it like a shot of vitamin C or better. Breath in the nose, out of the mouth. Welcome all that have joined. Shake this off. Come to our side seams here. And you can even do these figure eights to the middle. We've got a spot here and out to the side. Scream or just tap. Thump or massage. Sometimes these points might be a little bit sore. Again, rub them some more if you don't have any underlying issues that you know of here or any open wounds. Shake that off. Deep breath. Moving to our cheekbones. Stomach meridian grounding energy associated with the earth element. Tap, thump, or massage. And use a little pressure here. You may notice at first it's just a little sensitive. And then after a few times, that sensitivity may dissipate. Good for grounding us. Getting us out of the clouds. Shake that off. Sit and breathe with your in-breath through the nose, out through the mouth. Two more. Then 
we'll begin our homolateral march. Same side. Dust off. Pause the energy. Cross it over. Again, when we get very tired, our energy separates and goes to that homolateral or two-sided state. By crossing it over, we help to bring that back to its 100%. And sometimes the body needs this several times in a go, or it may take a few days of continual, not, not all the time, but maybe a few times a day, getting your body to respond back to this crossover pattern, feeling more energy, and keeping it moving forward. Shake that off. Remember, another way is slicing from one shoulder to the opposite hip. And that alternate nostril breath that we began with at the beginning of class. And of course, this is recorded so you can reference it later. Shake that off, hover, and this is what we're sent. We're um, zipping up that central meridian, central and governing with that breath, remember, in the nose, out the mouth. So we're sealing that up, sealing our energy, and then sweeping that out into our field kind of uh, give us that shield or our own personal space bubble. Zip up and sweep out. And then lastly, our energetic spine, the hookup. Creating confidence. from our chair or if you are seated on your mat that's great either way I'm just going to go into a gentle twist I have my arm back here sitting up tall once again breathe notice the twist in the spine breath can be in the nose out the mouth or in the nose out the nose whatever feels right for you today you can also use that Five element breath. For the, uh, we're going to go moving into the season of summer. And here, so that H A, bringing down the flame. We're going to do that posture next after our little twists here. Let's come back center. First of all, open the palms. Inhale, and exhale out the mouth. You can make any sound that comes to mind. Maybe that H-A or that W-H-O-O-O or shh. Maybe it's Which one of those resonates with you? Or the ujjayi breath, the in the nose, out the mouth, more of that ocean breathing. Inhale. And exhale down. We're going to do one more on each side. And then reach the hands up, tend the thumbs and the fingers. And with that H-A sound, we'll bring the thumbs to the crown of the head. Inhale through the nose, sweep the hands around. Thumbs come between the brows. Bringing down the flame. Sweep the hands around. Index fingers rest to the well of our throat. Shining your heart light out. Sweep round. Thumbs just above the belly button. Flatten hands on the belly. 
seating the fire, three breaths. Slowly sweep down the outer legs and off the pinky toes. And if we can't go that far, that is fine. Just reach out etheric fingers, your energetic fingers. And let's do that one more time. We'll move through a little more quickly. Inhale, exhale. Thumbs at the brow. Inhale, exhale. Fingers at the wall of the throat. Inhale. Tip fingers and thumbs. Thumbs above the belly. Place hands on the belly. Seating the fire. Sweep off the outsides, pinky toes, shake off, bringing down the flame, taking down maybe that anxiety, and creating space for joy and inspiration to flow in our daily lives. Um, if you have a chair or a seat, just take a hold of the bottom of that. And if not, if you're just seated on a mat, so just easy seated pose, and just keep one hand down, place the opposite hand on that shoulder with that hand down and then we're just going to tilt the head and just move it side to side like the earth on its axis think about a globe you might hear some crunches going on we're breathing again you can incorporate any breath any exhalation Make up any sound that resonates with you. And over time, intuitively, you may notice you breathing out, making a certain sound. And if and when you catch yourself, maybe just step back and observe and assess what might be going on very interesting. I try and do that myself and it's, it's an interesting journey. So we switch sides and then to the other side and we're just moving the head side to side. Kind of a nod up and down a little bit. And then release. Roll the shoulders up toward our ears. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. As the shoulder blades are lifted and back, you should feel like somebody's really squeezing you hard on your shoulders. Breathe it in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze back and down. It always feels so much better when we complete this. I'm gonna do it a couple more times. And uh, what this does is help us, let's squeeze back up and shoulder blades together. It helps us our muscles to release because they're very tense into our neck and shoulders, upper back. So if we squeeze, 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 and squeeze back, we're over exaggerating and then we release. It's like, oh, thank goodness, we've let go. We've got one more there. As we inhale, we'll draw the shoulders up and back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Squeeze, breathe. and release. Hopefully that released a little bit of tension in through the shoulders. 
feels a little bit better on mine. Of course, I carry a lot in there as well. So just nod a little bit, side to side. And then let's cross over one leg, doing the best we can. And if we can't lift that all the way up, that's all right. You might have a block or something down here and cross over an ankle. However, you can accommodate yourself so it is doable or available, never forcing. So we're sitting up tall. This may be just enough for you. And then think about leading with the navel as you hinge forward. Remember that hinge happens at the hips versus the bend that we don't want in the waist. That just dumps all the pressure into the low back. So we're engaging through our abdominals, lifting in and up and hinging forward. You should feel a deep stretch in through your gluteus and hip, perhaps. Breathe. holding on to your knee and your foot. You might just have that knee kind of cradled in that elbow and just move side to side, cradling the baby. Move that around in circles a little bit. And then extend that leg out, point, and flex. Point, flex, point, flex. And kind of go into a little bit of a point and circle the ankle two to three times one way, and then switch. And then release that leg down and cross over the other side. Once again, flexing through the foot, that's gonna help protect our knee. Sitting up tall. The, the higher up our knee is, that's uh, kind of telling of tightness in the hips. Hips carry emotion. I'm pretty tight in my hips today. So maybe just taking some deep breaths. You can do this always on your own at any time. Just this cross over the ankle, just above the knee. You can hinge forward. Maybe if you're sitting and watching television or watching something on your computer or just sitting. Lead with the navel. Head, neck, and spine alignment. Deep breathing. Of course, if anything hurts, we don't do that, right? Right. Since I'm not getting verbal feedback, I have to answer my own questions. <laughs> Let's inhale, come back up to sitting and cradle this leg. So we'll just lift up. Maybe gently side to side, move it around, hip in the socket. down, extend this leg out, we'll point and flex, point, flex, and you can also hold the leg to support, point and flex, circle one direction, ankle and then 
the switch. And then place that down. Extend both legs out, point, flex, point, flex, and come down. Take a deep breath. Lift up, one leg point, flex, lift the other, point, flex, release, release, once again, lift, point, flex, lift, point, flex, and release, one more time, both, the same time, this time, point, flex, point. Flex. Notice the muscles you're using here. Once more. Point. Flex. And down. Sitting up tall. Let's weave. Remember weaving helps just cleanse our entire container of energy. The outermost layer, the Celtic weave. Let's bind all the other energies together down to a little bit of the side and then forward breathing all the while thinking positive thoughts and let's go down to that side let's do another pass through one side inhale up down the center and up, and lastly, the other side. Sweeping down, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Look right, and then left. going to come to standing. I'm going to do what's called the penetrating flow. It's very good for balancing um, the hormones for males and females, but especially for males. And so we start here. If you think about right behind the belly button, my belly button's here, so I'm going to find this spot here and take both hands and circle. This is called the Ming Man Point. It's uh, ancestral kidney energy, water, hormonas, hormonal energy. So we're just, and this is in Chinese medicine, circling that both directions a few times, and then we sweep our hands forward back of the hands and front, positive and negative or negatively charged. That doesn't mean a bad thing. These are different polarities. And then we sweep up front line, cup hands over the mouth, three audible. And then we rest our hands over heart center. Deep breath. Now we're going to zip up the front line, central meridian. Zip up the back line. Doesn't matter if the hands touch. And bring that around, governing the other vertical moving energy. And then we're going to draw a heart around our face. Stick on that heart lollipop. And then take our hands on the front of our body. This is called a yin 
Yin Bridge Smooth. So we're just smoothing our own aura, our own space, as we sweep down the front and off the sides of the body. Shake that off. Tracing spleen meridian, insides, arch sides of the big toe, along the arch, along the inside of the legs, flare out at the hips, along the sides, beside breasts, almost to shoulders, and back down. And then the second one, take the fingers, and you don't have to literally do this, but you can, and it feels really good, run them through your hair, and back down the back sides. This is the yang clear, so yin, yin yang bridge or clear. And then hands on the shoulders, back sides. This is yang, tops of the arms. And then we come around back down the back side, the yang side of the body. Off the backs of the legs, off the pinky toes, shake it off. Deep breath here. And then the back of the neck, we tap points here at either side. There's a couple little uh, divots or wells here at the back of our neck. Just tap there, bring it around, tap just above the eyebrows, tap at our cheekbones, cross the hands and tap right here at those kidney points, our starting points for the wake up. And then we draw three big hearts around our torso. Breathing all the while. And then we just soften the knees as we come out, squeeze if available, insides and outsides of the feet with the thumb and fingers and sweep it off. Trace the spleen meridian as you come up. And then we'll do something called the Yang Bridge. What we're doing, we're drawing figure eights in front of us with our hands, just creating that weave. And then we turn around and we boogie into it. <laughs> so you can always do that at the front. And since that's a yang thing, we, we kind of back into it. So that goes into our energetic field. And then we have one more, which is the belt flow. And we may have done this. This is for our only horizontally running energy here on the body. So we reach the top, kind of back here, and smooth it around to the side. And a way to remember this is, where's my belt? Where's my belt? Where's my belt? Oh, my pants are falling down. So you sweep off the opposite foot, shake it, trace spleen, or weave your way up. And then we go to the other side. Where's my belt? Where's my belt? This is all along the midsection. Where's my belt? Oh, my pants are falling down. Sweep it off. Trace spleen. <sighs> Take a deep breath. You may be standing or sitting there saying, what did we just do? Well, that was called the radiant circuits. Those are the circuits of joy, of innocent energy, the, the joy that you feel when you see a little baby or a puppy or a kitten. So those stimulate the joyous circuits in our bodies. Always a good thing. So let's stand here in our mountain pose. Breathe. Two more deep breaths. Assess how you feel. And then standing in your mountain pose, we're going to do a little stretching through um, our hamstrings or the back of our legs. So if you choose to stand and maybe use blocks, you can place a foot here, or your heel, I should say, and come down. And then just soften this knee as you pull back. 
it's probably a lot more available from here. And you might even get a better stretch here. Move my things. So with the chair, I just, I love the chair. It comes in so handy for so many different things. So let's step one leg forward. We don't have to have these blocks, but they may come in handy. Have a block or not, blanket or not, sides of the chair. And then bend this front leg, hinge forward, maybe even come to your forearms and Depending on your flexibility in your hamstrings, you might just be here feeling a really great stretch. So just follow your own lead. Listen to your body. Don't go past your edge. If it feels good to go a little further, by all means. If you want a little deeper stretch and you're up here, you can lift the toes, that's going to go into your calf and also your hamstring. One more deep breath here. And place the toes down if they're up. Maybe step that rear foot back and move forward. Putting that knee track over the ankle, you may have to widen your stance. I'm getting a really good rear calf stretch here in this leg. Breathe. Getting some work in the arms as well. And if it's too much, you can always just place the forearms down. Two more deep breaths. And then stepping into three-point pose. You can have your full arms here or your forearms. And one leg is lifted. It doesn't have to be lifted that high. We want to activate the energy in that. Kind of lift and squeeze through this glute. Activate that. Lift and squeeze. You can even fold your own. <clears throat> Just make sure that it's engaging. Or you can just keep that lifted for another breath and then release. And kind of this standing cat cow, angry cat, and cow pose. We're going to change sides here. Step the opposite leg back. <clears throat> And just lengthen through that lead leg. Rear leg is, rear knee is softened. Hands down, resting on this chair. Breathe. Just kind of dig that heel in. And you hinge forward. Keep this knee fairly straight. You're going to feel a good stretching through here. Another deep breath. And then shift that knee over the ankle. Maybe step that rear foot back a little bit. Press down deeply through that heel. Calf stretch. Two more deep breaths. And 
and then slowly shift forward into that three point pose, <clears throat> flexing through this foot, the raised foot. So, and if you choose, you can kind of squeeze that glute and lower a little bit, squeeze and lower, squeeze, release. Two more deep breaths. If your wrists get tired, you can substitute fist for wrist just as long as the joints are stacked, meaning wrists below shoulders, etc. Release down. Forward cat cow. Feels good. You can just bend a knee and then bend the other. Got the side to side action going. Tuck the chin to the chest. Slowly rolling up. Standing, weave your way. Open, heaven rushing in. So you may be needing something. Ask for it. Gather it. You may be needing to release something. Release it. Less it move it on its way to be neutralized. Draw the belly button in and up, slowly bring the hands together, placing those renewed hands into your heart center. And then bring our hands to our sides. Let's move into a balance poses. First we'll start with our stork and know that you can always have a towel, piece of furniture, or this chair next to you. <clears throat> so I will start one leg lifts and so that opposite arm lifts and if you need that chair for more balance just to draw that belly in and out helps us to stay balanced. My hips kind of leaning against the back of this chair. So that's helping me breathe, lift, gaze toward the horizon. If you're feeling a little sassy, you can open that knee a little bit. One more deep breath. Release and shake that out. And we're going to the other side. Lift. Opposite hand lifts or rests on the back of the chair. Slowly open. And close. Option only. Guess I'm feeling a little sassy today. One more deep breath. Release, shake it off, sweep it off. <clears throat> and we'll do a one more balance pose, tree balance. I know your legs probably are feeling it. That's why we're just kind of kicking it out. So let's just stand here, feet a little bit wider than hip width 
and do some circles. Breathe. Draw that belly button in and out. After a few times, one direction. Let's go ahead and reverse. Shake that off. Now let's go for our tree balance. Again, chair comes in handy. You can also stand behind the chair. And remember, placing the insole of the foot either at the calf or working it up above the knee. So never on the knee joint. Okay? Maybe just... Testing the waters here. Bring the hands toward the center. Just out. Branch out. Breathe. Grow tall. Leaf out. Slowly come back to your center. Release and shake that out. We have one more side. Just gonna do some restorative, relaxing things. So switching sides, and again, what can be above or below the knee joint is never on it. Breathing deeply. invite you to either sit in your chair or on your mat. <clears throat> Sitting in your chair, you might bring a knee up or the other knee up. If you're on the mat, we're going to bring our knees to our chest and breathe deeply, maybe roll gently side to side. the arms out wide, perhaps dropping knees to one side. Now you can have your feet down and the wider the, the feet are, just to me the more available this posture is. So you might take the feet wider and let the knees fall, bring the gaze over the opposite side. And we'll bring the knees back. Switch sides, fall to the opposite side. Once more to either side. Last time. And return to center. 
her. Shift the hips a little bit to the right. Extend the left leg and fold the right knee in. Maybe circle that a little bit more. Loosen that up just a little bit more. And then if it's available, you can place a couple fingers behind that knee crease, holding on to gallbladder points. Or if not, if your hand just comes to the side of the thigh, that's fine too. Just drawing that across into a lying spinal twist, keeping the opposite shoulder or the same side shoulder kind of planted or anchored to the earth. Gaze is out that long arm. Slowly return to your center. Knees bent, shift a few inches to the other side and switch. Same thing to side two. Slowly unwind, come back to center, and draw your knees into your chest once again, inhale, exhale, tuck the chin, roll up, blow out the candle, come back down, tuck the chin. Dispelling any fear, creating space for courage to rule. Tuck the chin, lift. And then come back down. Time for our final relaxation, whether you choose to do it on your mat or seated in the chair. Just take the next couple minutes to integrate your yoga practice and just be choosing whatever position feels good for you. You might have a blanket beneath your uh, tailbone area or a pod. You may extend the legs up from there, legs up the wall. Whatever feels good.
bringing your awareness back to your fingers, to your toes. And if you're on your mat, just can remain seated there. Just gonna sit in the chair for this last Ten Heart Meditation. Deep breath. Let's draw three hearts around our face. Mm, breathing. Three hearts around our torso. And then three hearts around our entire field. Remember, etheric fingers can extend further than your physical fingers. So just keep that in mind. Envision your space. And then finish with the curling, the fingers and the thumb, placing it over your heart chakra, your heart center. Taking it with you for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me for practice today. Until we meet again, Namaste. Good to see you all. Ron, Mary, Deborah. Thank you. Oh, you don't have sound? Did, did you not have sound? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to finish this. But please send me a message on any glitches that were in this video, please. Thank you.